how to confidently move out of home with financial resilience and prioritizing your financial well-being. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. Now this video is for everyone, whether you're a student moving out of home for the first time, whether you are moving into shared accommodation or going out into your first home. This video will give you all the insights, the wisdom, the advice, and the guidance to help make sure that you are financially resilient and strong. And of course, you're always educated, empowered, and in control at all times, because obviously that is gonna make life so much easier to achieve those exciting goals and dreams. So the first thing is you must have a budget. Hopefully you've been watching this channel for a long time, which is a reminder to make sure you're subscribed and that notification bell is switched on. If you're planning on moving out soon, it's important that you do a forward planning budget so that you know and understand all the new expenses that you're going to have to include in your current budget. You should research as to what additional expenses that you have to now pay for once you've moved out. Things like cleaning products, toilet paper, gas, electricity, insurance, all those wonderful things that really can add up to be quite expensive. Start the research process sooner rather than later. Get quotes and then put them into your budget so you can understand where everything sits in, what is essential, what is a need, and what is a want. And it'll allow you that foresight to be proactive in balancing out the things that you must pay for and the things that potentially are negotiable or can be trimmed down or trimmed out. I should also add in as a little bit of extra advice is, is to allow buffers, particularly in this day age with inflation out of control, things are going up all the time and also prices can be quite volatile like food. My grocery food bill can really fluctuate from week to week. So to make sure you remain financially resilient, put a buffer in for everything. So what I would generally advise, and I have to say I recommend this in the Sugar Mama Budget and Cash Flow Academy, is to add a safe buffer for everything above $20. And you would round it up to the nearest $5, $10, $20, $50, $50 or $100. That way if one particular expense blows out, there is a safeguard around you from your other buffers and those other expenses to help you in a safe, to help keep you in a safe boundary. And if you don't know what new expenses you might have to incur when you move out of home, and if you aren't sure as to what expenses you're going to have to pay for, make sure you go and ask someone that's been living out of home for a long time, and they'll give you a great insight as to all those little things, and they'll give you a great insight into all those little expenses that you have to have when you've moved out of home. And trust me, they really do add up. Number two is to practice. This is your dress rehearsal with your budget. Once you've done your forward planning budget, I want you to pretend that you have moved out of home and you are actually dealing with those new expenses. So for example, say that you now know that you're going to have to pay insurance, home and contents insurance when you move out of home. And you know that that's going to cost you approximately $90 per month. Of course, keeping in mind that safe buffer, so let's round that up to $100 per month. You would go and transfer that $100 per month into a separate online savings account, pretending that that is your energy bill. You would do this for all of those new expenses. Now, by having this dress rehearsal and practicing before you've moved out of home, it will give you a really good insight as to whether you are ready to move out of home. And if not, it gives you the opportunity to review your budget and look at different ways to save money or maybe even earn extra money. Or perhaps if you're fortunate enough, you might be able to put off moving out of home for a couple more months until you've got your head around your new budget and what the new responsibilities really involve. And for the record, there is no shame in pressing pause. You never want to back yourself into a corner where life becomes increasingly stressful because you can't afford to live. Number three, furniture. Moving out of home quite often means you're going to need some new furniture. So I recommend obviously looking at the pre-loved economy. You can find things that are close to brand new for a fraction of the full retail price. Now I would also recommend spending time doing your research and understand where you want to spend and where you want to to save. For example, you might decide you're going to buy a pre-loved sofa because there are lots of great sofas around on the circular economy and you don't want to spend money there. However, you might decide that you want to splurge in a 
good quality mattress or bed which makes sense because we spend so much of our time sleeping and this is how we recover and rest our body and recharge our batteries so know what is important to you take your time think about how you want to style your new home don't rush out and buy everything and of course pay for everything in cash you don't want to be creating new debt in your life at such a fragile vulnerable time of moving out of home Number four, declutter. Moving out of home is a great opportunity to go through your bedroom and your belongings and look at the things that you no longer use or have outgrown. Now, instead of just simply discarding them and putting them into landfill, consider on selling them through the pre-loved economy, such as Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, if you're in America, Gumtree, Depop, really look to get rid of the things that you no longer need and with that money that you make from selling these items you could put them towards building up emergency money or even better you could look at using some of this money to put towards any of your financial responsibilities such as debts for example hex help debt credit cards personal loans or perhaps maybe including one of your financial goals such as starting to invest but use that money wisely and put it towards improving your financial well-being and stability and one additional little bit of advice I'd like to share from personal experience sometimes it takes a while to sell things so look to get these things listed as quickly as possible and be patient but also be negotiable step number five is your bills and that is to try and practice paying your bills in advance now this is a brilliant hack that I have shared many many a times and of course is included in the sugar mama budget and cash flow academy program this is where you would look at a bill that is rather irregular or ad hoc such as a quarterly gas bill now to help create consistency in your budget and make things as easy and as efficient to manage ongoing what I recommend is you take that quarterly bill break it down into a monthly amount or a fortnightly amount if you're paid fortnightly and prepay it so for example say your gas bill is say $330 a quarter you would prepay one month in advance and pay on a monthly basis so you pay $110 the moment you get paid and then you pay another $110 when you get paid a month later that way when that bill comes you actually don't owe any money at all obviously you need to be mindful of the fact you've prepaid it so you can't get a refund on that bill but it's a great way of staying in control at all times and always having that lovely feeling of being on top of your bills this is something I've been doing for years and I absolutely love doing it and it's so good it is so sad satisfying seeing that bill come in and there's nothing actually owing. Number six, removalist. Moving out of home if you need to move furniture and heavy bulky items can be really expensive. It's important that you get lots of quotes because there are so many different levels of service and manpower that you can employ. You also may want to look at maybe borrowing a car from a friend or renting a ute or a van for the day because that can be really cost effective. And of course, you're all going to save money, particularly when you can reciprocate the favor back. So understand what the cost of removalist is and how to do it in an efficient and effective way. And of course, if you are buying pieces of furniture online, make sure you try and time the delivery of those items so that they go to your new residence so that you're not doubling up and double handling all of the things that you need to move around. And then number seven, make sure you update your contact details. Not only is this incredibly important from an identity theft point of view, it's essential that you always stay on top of your finances. This is where bank accounts go missing, superannuation money gets lost, insurance policies lapse because they haven't been able to get in contact with you. So it is incredibly important that the moment you know your new address, you get ahead of the game whilst you've got a spare moment and give them your new contact details. That way you will always know and understand where your money is, what your responsibilities are, and you never need to worry about losing track of what assets you own. Make sure, of course, you are subscribed to my channel. The notification bell is switched on because I provide a fresh video for you every Thursday afternoon. Let me know what other videos you would like me to make for you. And of course, you are more than welcome to go and check out the Sugar Mama Budget and Cash Flow Academy, which is perfect for anyone that is getting ready to move out of home and wants to know how to manage their money correctly.